Hello, my name is Locke Gessner. I uh, was planning on doing this video anyways, but someone posted on Practical Machinist asking about tips to drip feed a CNC, older CNC. And uh, I'm not going to show you how to drip feed per se, but I'll show you the steps it took to feed um, the mill from a laptop in my situation. And it should be pretty similar to yours. So, obviously, you'll need your laptop and then you'll need a compatible cable depending on whether um, like I have USB and uh, you might have serial if you have an older laptop or something like that um, and then I'll link this cable that I bought it's kind of specific to this situation um, and it comes with software that you have to download separate from the DNC software there's a whole bunch that goes into this <laughs> and then you're also going to need to purchase probably a null modem separately. What this allows uh, is it crosses two wires. Um, it's been a minute since I've um, researched this and whatnot, but uh, I believe it, it loops two wires and it basically those wires uh, tell the computer whether or not it's hooked up or not. And uh, the null mo modem kind of takes the place. Um, it, w it would take the place of like a modem um, in an internet situation or whatever. Um, and it just tells the computer that it's hooked up and ready to go. Um, but you're probably going to need that guy, so don't forget that guy. Um, and then you'll need DNC software, so which is what allows you to either drip feed or to just uh, push it over. Alright, so you know, top left is like COM3, that's computer. If I remember correct, it could also refer to, I ran into that hard hardinge, um, I think there's four different com, I think that was on the machine side though, um, where, you know, it had like one of those, yeah, so on the hard hardinge, uh, it had four com ports where you could put input data, um, and it was set on that, I don't remember the name of those cards, but they're like huge, they used to be popular there. It's kind of hard to do. They're big SD card type things, and uh, they're expensive, so nobody uses them. Like hundred dollar expensive. Um, but yeah, it was set on that port, and man, I was beating my head against the wall for several hours trying to figure out why why this thing wouldn't sync up. Some some of this is just kind of testing a couple of things back and forth to get it um, figured out. So. Uh, gotta be a little bit patient. These little bits and stuff are gonna be really important. I know I fault this. It, this computer is really particular about which USB port to plug it into. And that's part of the setup uh, of your cable. Alright, I apologize if the sound's too bad. Uh, I gotta run a phase converter here, so. Uh, Alright, so. Let me see. I want to say my settings are under, yep. So, this is a Yasnac i80 control. So this one, and I think the Hardinge, which was a uh, Fennec, uh, I don't remember, 2000 era lathe control. Um, and you can see, you know, make sure you're in focus so you can see. kind of see, you know, it tells you the baud rate per second, your stop bits, the number of bits per line, the parity, you know, the hand shaking style, yada yada. So most machines will probably have that in the control, if not certainly in uh, your manual. So the next step in this whole process would be and this is highly, it's, it's totally different on the machine, so you have to pull out your manual, but on this one, um, back up here, in and out, um, let me get out of here, what the hell, alright, in and out, and then you're going to type in your program number 6001, is the one that I need to bring in, so 
then obviously plug in your cables to applicable ports. bear with me I'm one man show here so um, you're gonna pull up your DNC software which again is what allows you to actually transmit between computer and um, machine um, and so on this particular DNC you click send Kitamura and it's gonna pull up my um, my documents here. Let's see. CNC programs. And then I save these as text files. So 6001 is the one I want. It's going to open. Connect. Click connect. Um, then once you have this typed in here, your program number right, it'll be ready. The machine's ready verifying. And then you just click transmit and here in a second it's going over it'll show right here that it is not found so it'll happen there all right take two um hadn't had that issue before um so i just unplugged and restarted but uh We'll try the other program here. 6001, so this will be 6002. Um, right, and select your program. Transmit it. It is right there if you go into programs in the directory and the directory here there's the first one 6001 and then if I type in I don't know why I hadn't figured out how to scroll down this, <laughs> this directory yet um, but if you type it in it'll pull it up pull stud socket wrap one and you know there's there's the program so he said, at the beginning of this, I'm not going to really show you how to drip feed because I've never done it and I don't think that I will. I'm a little nervous about that. Alright, I hope that kind of clarifies some of the details involved in this. Of course, it's going to be a little different from machine to machine. Um, Alright, I hope that kind of clarifies some of the details involved in this. Of course, it's going to be a little different from machine to machine. Um, when I was looking uh, how to set this machine up, there wasn't a whole lot out there besides the standalone USB DNC things. Everybody's trying to sell you for 200 bucks. Uh, I believe this cable was 20. I think no modem was another 20 bucks. That's it. The DNC software was free that I'm using. I think there's probably better, more powerful ones, but this one's worked perfectly for me so far um, except for that one little issue which has never happened before until I tried to video it of course um, yeah if you uh, found use in this video and um, liked it then please like comment and subscribe I'll have some more machining content coming up I'm trying to start posting on a weekly basis here um, the next bigger machine, well, I got a little machine project, where is that guy? Well, I'll pull the programs I just put on is pull stud socket for this. Uh, this is a 35 taper mill. Um, so I couldn't find a pull stud socket and I'd like to be able to twerk these with a socket, not a crow's foot or a wrench. Oh, there's my stock. Um, and then this is all getting set up for um, this baby gate we're making for the house here. Um, we have a steel railing and the commercial baby gates don't line up right so I'm building um, building some hinges that are self-closing uh, of my design 
uh, because all the commercial stuff didn't really suit my fancy, if you will. Um, so yeah, I kind of designed it all up and hopefully it works. It's all torsion springs and whatnot. And we'll see. I'm starting machining on that tomorrow. Anyways, thank you for watching.